hey guys welcome to my channel so in this video i'll teach you how you can create a online watch party for your normie friends like a true chat so suppose you got a lot of normie friends and you just want to watch movie together with them and not just online you know normie friends like you can watch movie with online people if you are active on some irc group or some community and you just want everybody to hang out together by you know just organizing a movie session so it's super cool thing to do and i'm planning to do it actually so uh, let me just show you a real, real chat way so i have a server and firefox open i don't know why i started firefox now so first of all there are a lot of programs all right so there are programs like sing play and i showed these programs on my channel so if you have a crush for example and you just want to show her some movie so what you can do is you can just ask her to install sing play and then she will install sing play and then you have to provide her the file and she will get the file and then you have to tell her how to connect with the sing play uh, servers by using sing play so even though it's super simple but you know since i'm considering she's a normie so you have to explain her and when she connect to the server only then you both can you know watch movie together and sometimes it becomes tedious with normies because they don't really know how to do all these things and this is not you know go to thing it's something you have to do before starting the you know session it's good for one to one or maybe three four people i have watched movies with four people by using sync play but the issue is if you want to do some mass streaming if you want to show it to many people and you just you know like how we are going to do that so also something like SciTube so in case if you don't know there is this website SciTube uh, SciTube so it's a pretty chill website what you can do is you can actually host this thing so people just get connected to the server and they do chatting online random people come and go all the time and they watch stuff together it's a YouTube video but you can actually watch a lot of stuff all right let me close this or for example this so people are watching movies together it's super cool i love this thing but the thing is you know it's too much to do it's so much to do you have to like set up an instance and then you have to convince so if you have normal friends they might don't even like it they're like what is this site you i don't know how to use this so yeah that's that's hard part like you can't really convince normies like with these kind of things okay so site you might get some trouble and then you might also get in trouble so how we are going to do this well i have a server so let me ssh into it so in case if you don't have a server and you might think all right so this is not for me well you can actually use services like just host or you to get server at just two dollars i'm not promoting it's a russian um server provider one of my friends started using it and he told me like it's a he's managed to host a website he's managed to host a lot of things with it even a vpn for himself even i don't have a vpn so uh yeah you can actually have managed to get a server in pretty cheap so i have my server on vulture and i'm going to use that so let me open my tmux and in this server i have this directory movie and let me delete this w get log so this is a file which i have and we are going to pretend it's a movie so first you have to you know sync the movie file from your local computer to the server so let me actually delete this file and let me go to this folder party so i have this file here too so let me use scp to sync and show you how you can sync it so just type the file name and then the server path what's writer.com and movie all right so this is going to ask for so it's going to sync the movie file so this is not a movie file actually it's just a small video i have and the thing is these servers get so much bandwidth most of the time it get wasted all right you don't uh, use it completely so it's not a big problem to do something like this and i don't think if you are using something like just host are you they don't have any restrictions you can even do torrenting and stuff like i don't know about vulture it depends on your vps but i don't think if you stream one movie it's going to cause you a huge issue you know it's not like you are doing some real shitty piracy or something like that okay not shitty uh some some you know like a true pirate you're distributing movie on some website so yeah you can even have password protection on uh something which i'm about to tell you so what you can do is uh, it's a true chat way okay so there is this program simple so it's pretty simple okay so it's a simple rtsp simple server i used to use this a lot so this is not a program for syncing but if you want to watch movie with a lot of people what you can do is let's just go to release so we are going to have a rtsp stream and this is actually a good idea i i i don't know why i never thought of this 
But when I realized that I can do that, I, I never thought I can use this thing for this purpose. So let me, so I have this uh, program downloaded for my Linux. All right, so it's downloaded here. So I'm going to just copy it to the server RTSP. Uh, again, so we'll go right to the right. So, no, no copy. No P for user. So as you can see, I got this file, uh, this start C file here. So let me unzip it. RTSP, this is so cool. I, I really like this uh, thing, like this idea in general. I get so many nice ideas. Like I'm proud of this thing. All right. As you can see, we got this uh, binary here and this is what we care about. So let me just run RTSP simple server and boom. So, you know, I, I looked into a lot of tools. There are a lot of online services available, which will sing some video files for you. But even there, you have to upload the movie in some server and then give the link or even the thing is like, it's not fun because you are not using your own media player. Also, you have to tell the normie about some random website and stuff like that. Now, what you can do is, so I, I started this program and now it's running a RTSP listener, okay? So what now I can do is, so if, if I go to movie, so here is this this file smokeclip.mp4. So I can actually, okay, what I can do, I can use ffmpeg, give input of smoke clip, and then see copy, copy the, we are not going to transcode, so no CPU is going to get used. Uh, RTSP format. Okay, I, I think right here we are transcoding. Actually not, we are just making RTSP packet, I believe, yes. So after that, we have to provide a RTSP link. So which is nothing but localhost. So, and we also have to provide this port number. So just do what I'm doing, all right? If you want to learn more about it, went to the readme, it's written here, it's nothing uh, different. Like this is the command. So here, let's just type the movie. So if I press enter, it's going to start a stream of that movie. And this is so fun. So let me first, before doing all this, let me show you the movie file, like what it is. It's just a video. All right. So it's just a video. I am not going to tell you the movie name, All right? Do image reverse search or whatever. Like I, I ruined Busu. I can't ruin this. Something I like, it's just mine. I won't share it with you. So let me just start the video so now oh, okay i did something wrong type re stream loop minus one and then rerun it no uh, let me just copy the command Fuck. here instead of my stream movie and 127.0.0.1 and here file ts instead of file ts we have to carry smoking i should be prepared before showing you something so yeah uh, as you can see now the stream is running so now what i can do is if i type mpv and this link which we just pasted uh should i just copy paste it from github uh mp4 so here instead of localhost i have to type my server ip address or whatever domain you got and here like movie okay so now it's a stream beautiful The thing about this is it's synced, right? So it's completely synced guys. And you can just give this link, uh, this link here to your friends. And if they use VLC, they can just run this link with VLC. You can create some desktop files, which will run like some shortcut CMD bad files or something. So they can use it and you can have some website where you can provide, uh, you know, the timing of the movie. So if you're having some watch party with some, you know, online friends, so you can have a site where you will give the timings and the RTS filling, and you just tell them like at 3 p.m. at 4 gen, uh, we are going to play this movie. If you want to watch it, just, you know, this is the link of the RTSP link and this is the Jitsi server link. And then everybody will connect there and people who want to watch will watch, people who want to leave, leave. And it's fun, like you're not watching alone. So instead of watching alone, just run a stream and it's super fun. All right, so let me close this. I think you get the idea. It's uh, better because there is no program involved. Like it's just a stupid link which people have to play. And if you use some program, it's this, 
I, I tried it, it get complicated, like people uh, get introduced to some new, new programs, which, which become hard. But yeah, if you're just watching with two people or three, four people, Syncplay always works. So I'll recommend Syncplay there. So that's a